What up, YouTube? Time to smoke some pork. Let's get started. Start with three pound pork shoulders, some leftover pork I had from a previous cook. Get some yellow mustard on here as a binder. I use this on my pork to make a nice solid cake. Lets the seasoning stick to it really well, and it also just adds a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna dust both sides with my barbecue rub. This is a third cup kosher salt, a half a cup of black pepper, two third cup paprika, two and a half cups brown sugar, two and a half teaspoons chili powder, two and a half teaspoons onion powder, and one and a half teaspoon red cayenne pepper. I love this mix. Go ahead and tweak it to your liking. Some people like a little bit sweeter, add a little more brown sugar if you want a little more heat. Add more black pepper and more red cayenne. After I get all of these sides coated nicely with this barbecue rub, I'm gonna let it sit while I get the smoker prepped and up to temperature. I'm using the meter probe thermometer here. This thing is great for simple cooks like this. I'm using Royal Oak Lunk Charcoal. Get a nice full basket in there to get the heat going quick and then I add some more on top. Once this stabilizes, I'm gonna throw some wood chunks in here and get the smoke going. Now that we got a good smoke going and it's leveled out of temperature, I'm gonna clean these grills up and get the pork shoulder on. I am cooking this at 250. I normally smoke everything at 225, nice and low and slow, but this one's gonna be a little bit higher, 250, 275 range, because this is just a simple quick cook, and I'm not cooking this to over 200, so I'm not doing pulled pork. I'm cutting these into pork steaks. So I'm gonna cook these to 160 inside. That's just the temperature that I like them when I'm cooking them for steaks. And all you're doing at this point is letting it cook and adding wood. I'm using hickory wood on this one and I'm just adding chunks as needed to keep the smoke going. Now this cook is done. It was in there for just under two hours before it hit 160. I'm gonna pull it off now. I'm gonna wrap it up real tight in foil and start to let it rest. I'm doing it in the foil because I wanna keep all the juices in there. It will cook a little bit longer but that's not a big deal as it rests, especially with pork shoulder. This cut of meat is very forgiving. Obviously the bigger cut is gonna be a little bit more juicy and a little bit more moist just because it was a bigger cut. The smaller pieces, they're good, but a lot of times I'll use smaller pieces that I cut off these pork shoulders for seasoning and flavor if I'm cooking vegetables, beans, or adding it to other sauces. We bring this inside, we let this rest for about 15 minutes just to let the temperature even out again. Then we're gonna open up here, take a peek, get ourselves the chef's sample and prep it for dinner. While the meat is resting, you're gonna to wanna to hit that like button. I really appreciate it, it helps my videos. And hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos when I drop them. It's always a little bit more juicy in the middle, but I always love these edge pieces where that bark is on there and all that flavor is popping. At this point, the only thing left to do is cut the beet steaks. If you wanna eat them straight up like this, you can. I dribble just a little bit of barbecue sauce on mine. But any way you do it, you're gonna enjoy it. 